Hi, Karen. Thank you so much for joining us here today. How are you doing? I'm well. Thank you very much for having me back. Nice to see you again. <laughs> you too. How was uh, your, your speak speech today? Oh, my talk, Sassy or Classy. Yes. Um, <laughs> choosing containers to suit your style. It was a lot of fun. Great audience. And I would say they were at least 80% sassy. We had oh. some fun people in that audience. <laughs> Now, can you tell me the difference between a sassy and a classy <laughs> container? <laughs> okay, at risk of getting myself in trouble here. I would say sassy is for those that really like color. They like to go bold. They're naughty, but a little bit nice. They like to play it edgy. Okay. And then the classy, people are like a little more um, sophisticated and elegant, maybe a contemporary design. So I just play around with that theme and help them choose containers and plan combinations that play into those two styles. That's really fun. I feel like I'd be a sassy. I think you'd be sassy a good sassy. Container. I think so. <laughs> and containers make a big difference in a space because it adds a lot of the color and That's you can right. bring out the colors in the plants exactly. that you're putting in the containers. Yeah, and also you can set the style because you might have something very geometric, yeah. um, super for really strong designs or something much softer. Um, the old fashioned terracotta are lovely for a more rustic look, um, but go for a high glaze maybe for a contemporary feel. So lots of different ways we can go. That's really fun. And I know we were chatting earlier about um, gardening for a small space, yes. for an urban space. And yeah. now, I, you know, I'm sure many of our viewers and I live in a, a city and, you know, there's the challenge of how do I create a, the garden I want in a small space? What are some Thank of the you. tips that you have for this? Well, certainly living in England, we always had small gardens. And when we couldn't go out, we went up. Okay. And so any space at all was pretty fair game. But definitely making the most of tiers. And so we would plant on the ground plane, then try and have containers that would give us an extra little bit of height. And then maybe plant against walls and up pergolas to give us almost like a ceiling effect of a garden. So you've got all those different layers. I think the biggest temptation is to have everything on the ground plane. And a space feels very small if you're just looking down at the ground. Okay. So you, you learn to bring the eye up. Now, are there challenges with um, bringing plants up? Like, are there different challenges you run into with trying to It's all to about that? the structure that you use. You know, it could be something as small as a freestanding obelisk. And you could put a nice little twining jasmine maybe up that. Um, sometimes you can go up and over a doorway porch frame. Wow. Um, if you haven't got room for a full-size um, pergola. Um, or even a balcony, you can run things along um, the handrail so of a balcony. Yeah, so lots of ways. Now you're holding your book right here, I Fine am. Foliage. Thank you. Which is a beautiful cover and you're color you. coordinated well, as well. I, I try, yes. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, you co-authored this book. I did. My good friend Christina Salwitz and I wrote this. It was hot off the press this time last year. Yeah. Um, we made it to the top 20 gardening books of Amazon for 2013 and is well into its second print and selling well. So thank you. We're, so you can get this book on Amazon and in bookstores. All the big bookstores, big nurseries, and on Amazon, selling well, yes. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. My pleasure. And good luck tomorrow. I know you're speaking again. I am. I'm actually getting to put into practice what I taught today. So I can plant a mess on the stage. They're letting me plant three containers. And I have sassy, I have classy, and something in between. Interesting. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.